Hello there and welcome to yet another episode of the Verzian Chronicles. This is episode 19 of the KOTOR Experience, Knights of the Old Republic. We are still on Kashyyyk and we were just about to board the basket back up to the north, to the top side of Kashyyyk, but we have been stopped by Gorwukin. Now, why does Gorwukin standing in the middle of the area instead of over by the basket. We still got those tacks going off in the background. Hilarious. Let's go and confront Gorwukin. You, Kylie Kane, our spies say the Mad Claw you sent to, you were sent to kill is on his way to Roroko right now. You should have followed the will of Chundar. Now you will face his wrath. And we have in front of us three, I count them three, enemies in front of us. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here with a little bit of fun. We're going to first, I'm going to force Whirlwind, the one on the right. We've got three, one on the left, one on the right, one on the right, okay? And we're going to prep Impaired Flurry on that one, okay? Now we're going to move to my second character, and we're going to have him... Um, What I'm going to have him do is we're going to Concussion Grenade, Poison Grenade... And then begin power attacking. And my boy will also do a first whirlwind on him. And then, um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we do anything else, we're going to do a force whirlwind, advanced lightsaber throw, and stasis. And by that point, we should be able to start attacking. All right. Hopefully that did what we were trying to do. It looks like it has. We're waiting on the enemies over there. Nope, 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 nope. I need you to stay attacking him. Please, what are you doing? That hurt, I bet. My character just randomly ran away. All right, now we're now we're successful. Here we go. And the final Wookiee is going down without too much of a problem. We're going to cast a heal. And it looks like it's uh looks like it's a, it's a re, it's a reload. <laughs> it's a reload. My character all of a sudden like like turned around and did not stick to the plan. The plan was I my main character Okay, let's try this one more time. One more time. The plan these two spawn, right? We cast a Force Whirlwind here. A Force Whirlwind here. Improved Flurry. Okay, we're going to cast two Improved Flurries. You, I want you to cast a Force Whirlwind here. I want you to then Stasis. And then I want you to move to attacking him. You. Come on. I need you to force whirlwind. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. You. I need you to do gush grenade, poison grenade, sonic grenade, and then power attack. Go. All right. Come on. Come on. We got this. Come on. We got this. We got this. We got this. All right, it's okay, it's okay. All right, we're gonna cast a heal. I'm gonna cast a heal. I'm gonna cast a fucking heal. <laughs> All right. My character started running around randomly and it's just, it's just, oh my God, it starts to piss me off. Okay, so. Oh, I know what I, I know what I gotta do. Hold on, hold on, hold that force, hold that thought. I'm going to set up each of the characters as as what I need them to be. All right, so Karth is Grenadier. Jolie, I need you to be Jedi support. That's what you need to do. Okay, okay, buddy, is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna Jedi support me? Jedi fucking support me? Wow, we're four minutes in and I'm already getting angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. All right, go. Yeah, I, I 
Take that. Okay, we we immediately get hit with a weird. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Got the heal off. Okay. Can I can I get the fight off, please? Thank you. Deadly toxin sick. That's okay. Come on, guys. You got this. There we go. Now they're working with fire. Apparently, you gotta if you if you have the script set up correctly, they will freaking do their jobs. It's kind of impressive. All right, let's see if we can't get a guy, get a force whirlwind on him real quick. Come on, I know he just force pushed him. There's the force whirlwind, and there's the win. Oh my word! <laughs> you guys ain't heard me yell like that. Oh wow! I was just I was just not having it, not having it at all with these characters. Okay. Oh shit! Uh, my chair just broke. Uh, is this the second time that's happened during an episode? Okay, let's try to fix it. Again. All right. Okay, I fixed it real quick. There we go. I was leaning back on it too hard. <laughs> All right, we went up to the basket. We clicked the basket, and it says, Having seen Gorwukin operate the basket, you understand it well enough to use it yourself. We're going to raise the basket out of the Shadowlands. All right, so it then takes us through the cutscene of that, of us rising out of the Shadowlands. Uh, apparently broke and did not play the cutscene, which is fine. I'm cool with that. Uh, and let's begin our long trek back to the... Um, the village. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Oh, the village. The village. I see Trawal standing there. He's probably going to want to fight us. Let's see if he does. Trawal? Well, it seems you're more than I thought. Freya has come back and told me of what you did for him. My fellow hunters split on what we should have done. Some were lorn to Chundar alone. We had to fight. Freya went to the throne room to challenge Chundar. I will take you to him now. You fought each other. Why? We follow the chieftain, whoever that is. If the position is in doubt, we fight each other. We fi each fight for the side we believe in. This must be decided quickly. There must be much more bloodshed. Come. It is this way. All right. Lead on. We should hurry. Yes. Much is to be decided. Only one can lead. Must lead us. Come on. All right. Cool. That's a... <laughs> I love it. Quick, quick travel. Now we're standing in the throne room. Chundar and... Um, Oh, great. Everyone is here. It's a reunion. Yes, son. By the blade of Baka's sword, I've come to end your treachery. No more will you sell your own people. You have Baka's blade? So what? I have the hilt, held by each true chieftain in recent memory. Even if you, even you claimed it was all important. We both have our ancient trinkets. So who will people follow now? You? You are old and weak. Shut up, both of you. This ends today. I will not see Ruraku suffer anymore. This is Albar speaking. <sighs> you tell them, Zalbar. I don't know what to do, Kali. Chundar has been telling me things. He makes sense, I, I think. I don't know. Side with Freyr. He's the honorable one. Is it the best course? Um, yeah. Without a doubt. Chundar is a slaver. There is no other way, Chundar. You have betrayed our people. You must pay. That's my boy! That's Freyr. You're too weak to fight, old Wook, and I still have Zerka's support. You will see who dies today. Uh, Zerka... Do we have two Zerka guards? So what we're gonna do is we're going to force whirlwind the one on the right... Force whirlwind one on the left. Force whirlwind the one in the middle. We just gained light side points. And now we're uh, assisting in the fight against Chundar. Uh, actually. Alright, so I'm going to... My goal right now is to take out the guards as, as quickly and as much as possible. Meanwhile, my quote-unquote subordinates are taking out the other guards, and they are actually handling themselves fairly well while Friar and um, 
All right, looks like Chundar is now by himself. How'd you like that? And now we're going to hit him with a Force Whirlwind, and he's going to fall pretty quickly. We have Gyarus gained light side points for that for the actions of sticking against Chundar. We have done it! I am saddened that it had to come to this, but I couldn't let it continue. That is Friar speaking. Zalbar, my boy, I am truly sorry. You have suffered a great shame. I was blind. I have no excuse. I can forgive you, father. I have learned a lot over the last years. I... What will you do about the slavers, Freyr? We will fight them. It'll be difficult, but I swear they won't take another one of my people without bloodshed. We'll send quick climbers to other villages to try to rally defense. We must guard against this ever happening again. You'll be the last outsider here. Welcome, welcome here for a long time. That is a change for the better, I think. Okay. Zalbar, what about you? What will you do? Returning home has lifted a great weight from my mind, but it's been painful as well. You have a place by my side, Zalbar. We would be honored if you would take it. No, I can't, not yet. I'm just getting used to being free, not just from the slavers. And I have a life debt, of course. Now that my life is truly my own again, honoring that agreement is all the more important. Listen to my son. His insight humbles me. Take that good judgment with you and all the planets will come to revere Wookiee wisdom. I think it was time I, le I left. Perhaps, but before you go, Kylie, I must see your reward. You have done us a great service. Kashyyyk will remember you past your, well past your lifetime. Well, because of you, I am reinstated as chieftain. I will return to the old ways, where honor and trust of kin is ruled above, ruled above all else. I'm not sure there's a reward that accurately reflects the value of what you have done. Our world has changed because of you. I have a request, Father. Although the, I have thought about it a great deal, I would like Baka's sword. That would be fitting, I think. Well, that is quite a request. I am tempted to say no. But perhaps I should consider it an investment. Zalbar, you consider what this may mean. This is the legacy of our people held by chieftains and future chieftains. I understand, Father. I want this. I'll bring it back one day. No doubt. Let the two staffs of the blade be made one. My shun shall hold Baka's sword. <laughs> okay, Jolie, you get to go back. We're, we're carrying our boy with us. We got the Wookiee back and light side points. And hell yeah. Let's uh, see if our Wookiee can actually use the Baka sword. That would be dope. Can he use Baka's ceremonial blade? It is a 4 to 14. What the fiddlesticks? It is a 4 to 14 weapon, which puts it at 13 to 23 damage. Uh... Whoa. Okay, we'll keep you on the bowcaster. Hold that thought. Twenty to twelve to twenty-two as a secondary weapon. What if I hold on? Hold that thought. That is awesome. That is actually a really cool weapon. Oh, I like my lightsabers though. Okay, uh, that damage is dope. It's just the fact that. As far as I know, Wookiees can't wear any um, armor. So that makes their... their their. Um, we're going to auto-level him up. Uh, that makes their defense really crap. So yes. it's cool, but not super useful in as insofar as a weapon specifically for um, Zalbar. Useful, though. I will be keeping it. We will be using it probably uh, in our arsenal. We will not be selling it because it is a nice weapon. Um, the very, very strong weapon, actually. So there was a couple things we needed to do before we left. Um, we needed to go see a couple more people here in the village, that is, um, just to make sure that everything's hunky-dory and make sure that all are well. So before we leave... Uh, we are going to speak to Warwill, who uh, was speaking, and let's speak to Warwill. You're back again. Have you seen? No, you wouldn't tell me. You wouldn't care. Leave the boy alone, please. I am Kylie Kane. I help Friar return to power. I am a friend. I don't know about that. I hear a lot of things. I'm not sure what to think anymore. Do you know whose bolt casing this is? What? It sure looks like Jirox. At least I think so. I'm not sure. This bolt casing was found on Ravor's body. Then he's dead? It can't be. Ravor was dealing with slavers. What do you know about this? 
He doesn't. You don't say another thing to him. You want to lie. You lie to me, outsider. Leave the boy alone. Well, what do you have to say about it? Leave me directly, away from the boy. All right, I'll speak with you, Jarek. Goodbye, Warwell. Jarek, you made a terrible claim against me, outsider. You Do what you must with it, but leave me alone. I know you had a reason to kill Warwell. It's not for you to decide. You can't possibly understand this affects my people or me. Do what you must. The holder of the laws will cite my face in proper wookie can. Ooh, okay. I wanted to give him the chance to 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 defend himself, but I guess not. All right, let's go talk to the holder of the laws. Shit, shit's about to go. Right, excuse me, excuse me, Mister Wookie. <laughs> it's just Wookie, no name, just Wookie. We're gonna. You must gather for a party before going forth. Karth! Karth, baby! Can, can, you, can you join us? <laughs> Karth is like up up the ramp really far. Okay, Zalbar, baby. Zal uh -huh. Zalbar? I don't care who I'm entering with. Just enter. Sure. All right, thank you. Ooh, wicker basket. I want to touch the wicker basket. What's in the wicker basket? It's a bowcaster. Nice. All right, uh, where was our... Greetings again, outsider. If you have business here, please be make it brief. Do you know who owns this bolt casing? Let's see if the family insignia is there. Yes, there it is. It belongs to Jarek. How'd you get it? I found the Jarek. I found Jarek's casing on Rora's corpse. It's very distressing. It would seem to suggest that Jarek helped in Rora's death. I can't ignore this. Wait here, outsider. I must address this. I will have Jarek brought here. And I hope he can explain this. I really do. I also have the data pad too, so can we do that with some of that? Drock, you know you've been, why you've been summoned here. As holder of the laws, I must ask you to explain. I won't answer. I can't. Will Roril be here? Roril has a bond with Roril has a bond with Rorar. He is close to family and can be found. He is entitled to be here. Drock, please speak. If you're in guilty, it means death. This outsider will be given your possessions. Do you want that? Is there no alternative to death as punishment? If circumstances, if there were circumstances that led to the attack, maybe we considered another punishment. It all depends on what was behind it. My left butt won't let me speak for you, Kylie, but no Jarak had justification. Will you tell them? It is my failure of honor. This is serious. Were there any mitigating factors that I we need to be aware of? Jarak, won't you say anything in your own defense? I killed Rabar. I will accept any, whatever punishment is given. It's better if I if only my honor is tainted. You did do it, but why? Rorar was good and honorable. Why did you kill him? You only need to know that I did it. Reason is unimportant. Rorar, I'm so sorry. Jurek, I won't let you do this. Rorar was dealing with slavers. What? What are you talking about? Liar! Please don't tell them anything. Rorar was admired. They need to believe in him. I'm old. I'm not important. Let Warrill and the others have their hero. No, I, I can't let this happen. Explain yourself, outsider. If you have information that affect this trial, I must know it. Don't listen to the outsider's lies. Please, Warwell, don't listen. Warwell dealt with slavers. The data pad I found on his corpse proves it. But no, that's not... It can't. Jorek, it can't be. I'm sorry, Well, well I didn't want you to know. There's so much against us. You need someone to look up to. I, we couldn't let you betray him. Betray you. Everyone. Outsiders are enough of a threat by themselves. We don't need traitors of our own. See how this Wookiee truly understands honor? See how important we consider these things, Kylie? Well, as hold of the laws, I declare Jorek innocent. I will see to your release. Well, honor is important to me, too. I will say, this first outsider I've been glad to know. You have surprised me. Perhaps you are capable of honor after all. You are deserving of your reward. Um, my reward... Can I ask you if anything... Uh, what what reward? Did I not explain? As a person who discovered the crime, you are also affected by it. You had been given a portion of Jarek's possessions, but as he was innocent... Borrow was wealthy. His family was taken by slavers, leaving him everything. You get one third of this. Borrow will receive the rest if he wishes. He is still upset, but he is young. He will recover. Well, goodbye to you. Goodbye. Baka guide you. Holy cow! I just gained 400 credits, 1600 experience, light side points, and a level up. Oh my goodness! Yes, yes, yes. That's dope. Level up. All right, we're gonna take our skills. 
And we're going to put, of course, in persuasion. So we can persuade more. That's dope. And we're going to go... Uh, we have one remaining power we can take. We could do stasis field, which is... Ooh, I kind of like stasis field. What about... Um, um, let's see here. We can do stasis field or force wave. Um, what is recommended? Stasis field. Stasis field is recommended, and that's kind of where I was thinking of going. Uh, however, it is a restricted by armor, um, which is a problem. And I don't know if... No, force wave is not restricted by armor. Let's go looking through the other powers real quick and find out what is not restricted through armor. Because that's going to be very important for us later. Um, what about effect? Uh, you know what? We're gonna go take. We're taking effect mind. Um, uh, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're taking. Probably going to take. Uh, I don't like energy resistance due to the fact that it only takes... It, I mean, it doesn't last forever. It only lasts for 100... Like, uh, it lasts for a pretty limited amount of time. Uh, and that's a lot of the problem with, like, Force Valor, Force Speed, Force Aura, and stuff like that, is they only last for 20 or so seconds, making them fairly useless, um, in my opinion, on the battlefield. Uh, they're useful in, like, is situational, but in combat, I'm not too worried about that. Ever, honestly. Um, so my thoughts are kind of pushed towards something like force suppression or, you know, fear, honestly. Um, but I think dom uh, to attract, attract, uh, affect mind and eventually dominate mind are probably where I'm going to go with this. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, let's leave. That was a neat little side quest. Very nice. Um, and the, but that was the only side quest. That was literally the only side quest of this area. It was it wasn't like there's multiple side quests. Is no, your side quest. The whole quest line here is the Shadowlands, which had count them one side quest. And the non-Shadowlands, which had one side quest. And then you have the Zerka side, which has one side. We're going to get to it. We're about to pass by the other side quest here soon. But it's 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 constantly one side quest. One side quest here, one side quest. There's like three, I think a total of maybe three side quests to this to this, to the the planet. Um, and that's one of the things is it, it, it kind of makes me go. It's a it's a Bioware formula calm almost thing where it, it makes the planets feel really small, I guess, is the thing I'm looking for. Uh, we are going to break into the Zerka box because I don't care. I really give zero fucks about uh, what Zerka cares or what Zerka thinks. Um, it's all droid plating and vibro armor. We'll get them. They're ours now. That way we can sell it off later. Droid parts. Vibro armor, nice. We're, we got. We're gonna see. So I'm gonna be selling off a lot of the gear that we've got so far. That is more or less worthless to us because um, I've already done it. What what I call an outfitting of all of the characters. Um, and what is that? That's the Zerka dock. That's to the shadow. Let's go to the Zerka dock. Okay. Um, but I've already done what I what I what I've previously called an outfitting uh, on the Evan Hawk, and I'm basically going to redo the outfitting. As I'm going to go in there, I'm going to handle the items and weapons that are useful to us, and then I'm going to find a seller, and we're going to just sell all of them. Okay, as we're walking back towards the Zerka docks, um, a Twi'lek steps up to us. He goes, "Forgive me for the intrusion, human. My name is Sinivek. I believe you dropped this data pad, and I wish to return it to you." Um, I'm sorry, there must be kind of some kind of mistake. There's no mistake, human. The data pass is yours and yours alone. Please take it. Um, what is this, some kind of con game? This is no game. I simply saw you drop this data pad and I wish to give it back to you. Um, thanks? My pleasure, human. You should examine to make sure it's not broken. Goodbye, human. Um, 
It says the Geo Heart, the Gino Haradon say to see Hula's on Manan. Come alone or not at all. Okay. Okay. Is that <gasps> that's the okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know where that. I know what that is. I know what that is. Okay. Um, we will be doing that quest line later. I got turned around. Uh, we'll be doing that quest line later after before we go to the final area. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's 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 awesome. We're not touching that yet. Um, <laughs> I know what that is. So that is the um, Brotherhood of, of something uh, DLC that I have. It's not actually a DLC, but it might as well be a DLC um, that I have installed that effectively allows me to... I just opened up a backpack. That effectively allows me to go do the DLC quest. So uh, the DLC, the mod quest line. So that's that's important to know, and it's on. It starts on Manon, apparently. Uh, item lost. Item lost. What item got lost? I don't know what item just got lost. Or, hold on, what just updated? Twilight gave... Okay, so I got that quest. What just updated? Something popped up. Oh, that... Yeah, I don't... I shouldn't have lost any items. I don't know what happened there. All right, we now have the Slaver War happening right here at the Zerka docks. Uh, and uh, let's help out our Wookiee friends. We're going into the facility here and seeing if there's uh, there's not a Wookiee in here anymore. There was a Wookiee encaged here, so we're going to steal from the Zerka headquarters real quick while we're at it. All right, so we are stepping out of the Zerka headquarters, um, and uh, we are definitely stealing from everyone that's on the ground here. Got a battle stimulant. We got what else we got here? A med pack. We're just not our fight. I mean, this is our fight, but it's not our fight. Some credits. Uh, that guy's got nothing on him. Who are you? You are who? You are a Wookiee Rebel. Nice. And apparently these guys cannot shoot to save their lives. And it's just all Circa Guards. So uh, let's do an advanced lightsaber throw. Let's see if I can hit all three of them in one shot. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, crap. I killed all three of them with my lightsaber throw. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> like, like I, I'm not even kidding. I killed two of them. I killed all three of them with one lightsaber throw. Uh, that makes me very, very, very happy for some reason. Um, as we make our way back to the Ebon Hawk. All right, let's check real quick to see if this footlocker is... Yeah, we're going to open this footlockers. All right, we got an interface visor and a med pack out of one footlocker. This is the, this is the stuff that's sitting right outside our uh, our uh, base of uh, our uh, base of operations. Under base of operations, our ship. Two Wookiee guards are standing nearby the ship, just waiting for us to leave, apparently. All right. All right, let's go to the workbench. And let's do a little bit of crystal playing around. Uh, I wanted to look at the sigil. So the sigil crystal I have is a 1d6 damage. But there's also a rough cut. Um, a rough cut up Mari amulet, which does plus 1d6 to uh, droids. 
and bludgeoning damage bonus 1d3. Or, yeah, 3 damage. Um, but the Opala does 2d6 on crit. What about this? This does Keen. I don't remember exactly what Keen did. Um, I thought, I, 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 what does Keen do? Keen, oh, Keen, oh, wow. Oh, wow, that, is that what Keen does? It lowers the critical threat to 17? Yeah, Keen, Keen lowers the critical threat to 17. Um, which combined with the Opala means every crit that that at least a wide range for crits like a really wide range for crits that is a 17 to 20 for a crit anyways um we're gonna stick with the with the more just straight up damage on this lightsaber i think um with the attack modifier let's check out the short lightsaber we got we got crate dragon pearl uh, which is just energy damage um, so what we'll do is we're going to go, yeah, I think the, we'll do, just leave the crate dragon and we've got a diamond in there, which is just, uh, attack bonus of three. What we'll probably do is put that one, give that one like a 1d6 versus droids plus three physical damage. That leaves it a four to 17, something like that. All right. So. Let's look at everyone else's stuff. We're gonna give Keen to whomever's I don't remember who I don't remember who's got that lightsaber. And we're just giving these giving these folks better weapons. Alright. Alright, so one more. The Bakla blade can get upgraded with massive criticals. We don't have anything that can upgrade it with a vibration cell, which is attack plus two, damage plus two, and racial damage versus droids. I mean that that is awesome. Um I wish Mission's Vibro Blade could become a better Vibro Blade. That would be so dope. Um I'm going to take everything out of the uh, prototype vibroblade because we're probably going to sell it. Um, and I don't think anyone's going to use Mission's vibroblade anymore. It's kind of one of those things where it's just not going to get used anymore. Uh, kind of like the uh, Republic mod, which is a light armor, light six armor. I think that one probably will get continued to be used, but the uh, maybe... All right, let's check our ranged weapons. Yeah, Ordo's weapon can be increased. We'll look at the uh, Zalbar's blow class bowcaster, still awesome. And uh, Kars blaster is really weak, forty-nine damage. Uh, so we may end up looking into replacing that before too terribly long. All right, so uh, straight up, wow, that was that was fantastic. That was straight up fantastic all in all um we're just taking a look through our characters here making sure everybody's equipped out just in case i need to use everything um we're going to give you most i think sonic yeah there we go sonic uh i'm trying to give ah uh, that's what i was looking for mandalorian where's the mandalorian helmet uh, we don't have a Mandalorian helmet. That sucks. Um, Mandalorian melee shield. Nerve. Ah, there we go. And we've got orders repeating blaster on him, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, that's a 6 to 15 at 21 damage with Mandalorian. Since he is Mandalorian, that is exactly what I want for him. All right, so we're going through our character list here. Um, she's got a Jedi Master Robe, so she's fine. He's got the... He's got... The double bladed sword, Kraith double bladed, the the Kath, Krath double bladed sword, which is dope. Uh, that puts us on Kalo Nord. That's fine. Now we're looking at um, HK forty seven, which is fine. I really would like to have him use ah, blast rifles. Fine. I really want to see if we can get him a better rifle though. Uh, what about a Mandalorian Ripper? Nope, not a Mandalorian Ripper. We're looking through our blaster rifles. 
Mandalorian Assault Rifle. That is a 3 to 10 damage uh, with an attack modifier plus 2. Uh, it's not great, but we've got three of them, so why the fudge not? Uh, let's continue looking here. Mandalorian Assault Rifle. There was a couple. I thought there was a Bowcaster here, too. Bowcaster is a 3 to 12 versus a 3 to 10. Uh, I think we'll just put you with a Bowcaster, my buddy. Everyone's using Bowcasters now. Um, can we give you another short lightsaber? 2 to 11. Uh, no, I don't think I want to have you using... I'll just have you use one lightsaber, buddy. Uh, talking about Jundo. Jindo? Uh, Julie. Julie Bindo. And then we're going to check out our girl here. Um, she is, I think, also... Yeah, she's one of those characters who also is using... Uh, not, not really suited towards uh, double wielding. And then, of course, we have um, Mission, who really doesn't have the health to be fighting up close, So, but she's wearing the Akani Fiber Armor. Uh, and then we've got our, our boy, our little boy here, our little boy M3. M3? Why did I say M3? That'll work. M3. Um, can you wield two weapons at once? You can, but they're crap. <laughs> It's junk. All right, everyone is uh is is organized, organizing, organized, organized, and now. I have not spoken often during our time together, despite my best efforts. And at this point, I have respected your privacy, but there is something we must discuss. Hello, um, Bastilla. Fine. What is it? You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Is it true you killed Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. Okay. So who killed Revan, then? Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. All right. So what else did you expect from the Sith, right? True, I suppose. And yet the outcome of that battle was unexpected to all of us. Revan's end was unforeseen. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. All right. Thank you. All right. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to take this time, the rest of this episode, to talk to all of our party members. We need to, one, we, we got we got to start progressing their stories. Um, and mainly because I really would like to, I want to progress the romance with Bastila, uh, if possible. Because, one, I know what happens in the future, but two, I want to uh, just really get everything going on here. And I think my character would get, get along with Bastila, so uh, canonically, they do. Anyways, let's continue to talk to Bastila and see if she'll continue the conversation. How can I help? I I'd like to know more about you, Bastila. Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. Tell me how you joined the Jedi, then. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Talravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. So, why, though? Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst, but even love can lead to folly. Do you, do you miss your family at all? Like all who join the Order, I have learned to embrace the life I've chosen. I had to let go of my attachments to my family. That must be difficult. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. <laughs> so you and your father were close then? Very close. I was only a little girl when I left my family, but I still remember him fondly. He was kind and gentle and doted on me. My mother, however, was different. I was not on good terms with my mother. 
I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. Did you ever try to get in touch with your father again? A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. You sound very sad when you say that. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. All right. Let's see if there's anything else we she, we can we can gather from Bastilla. Uh, sadly, at this point in time, there is not. What about Karth? Let's talk with him. Yes. What's on your mind? Tell me, Karth. Why do you want revenge on Saul so badly? I already told you he betrayed us all. Yeah, but it seems to be a bit more personal than that. That's all. Well, there there is more to it. I'm I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I do, if that's all right with you. It's just that I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember... Holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but that th they didn't come in time. I'm sorry, I didn't know, man. Of course not. How could you? I, I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them, and I know killing Saul won't bring them back, and, I, and it won't make me happy again. But I, I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. What was she like, your wife? She had courage, and and she was stubborn. Could never talk her out of anything once she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. Now I had planned on, on leaving soon to join her. Mm, so what happened to your son? You didn't say. His name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but... I stopped. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Let's uh, let's continue with what we were doing. Damn, that's intense. Let's see if he has anything more to say. Yes, what's it? He does not. You got it. All right, let's continue around the ship and see what everyone else has to say. Of course, T3M4 will have not a whole lot of nothing to say, but let's hear those beep and bloops. You don't talk much, do you, T3? <laughs> Just chime in if you ever have any advice. <laughs> of course, our Wookiee friend here, Taz Albar, just got out of a pretty, pretty nasty situation. Let's see if he has anything to say. Is there something you want? I was wondering if you could help me with the problems, Albar. Unless you want someone threatened or a door bashing in, you should ask someone else. Do you have any more thing more to say about yourself, Salbar? You've seen more than I would have allowed and taught me some things too. I am grateful for that. It will be a while before I know what role will be in making Kashyyyk truly free. I have a lot to learn. Can I ask why did you request to take Baka's sword? I'm not sure I really know. Father expects much of me. I guess I will do as well. I think when I've learned enough, I'll come back to Sh Kashyyyk. What happens then? We'll see. I wish you well, my friend. Let's get going. I will follow. Awesome. Let's talk to Juhani and see what she's got in her mind. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Well, I'd like to know more about your past, if, you, if that's all right. Well... 
Are you all right? Uh, I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. What's wrong? I have been thinking about myself, about Quatra, and about my fall to the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. I look inside myself now and I can still see it. I still feel it. <sighs> Perhaps you need, need more time. More time would do me good. Time to distance myself from that anger. I think that is why the Council agreed to send me with you. They think, perhaps, that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. Juani, if I see you beginning to slip back, I will intervene. I thank you for your concern and your acceptance. I will strive to prove that I am worthy of your company and trust. All right. Joanne has some interesting things to say. Let's continue to see if she has anything else. How may I be? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it? Why are you so hostile towards Candorus? I am wary of the Mandalorian. I do not trust him. Wary? Why? I have never trusted Mandalorians. They drove my parents from Cathar, aided the Sith, and attacked the Republic. Their warped notions of honor may provoke them to do even more heinous acts. I do not know why you tolerate his presence on your ship. In truth, he has had some merit so far, but I am not certain it is worth the risk you take. Kandoran has proven himself, though. His kind may prove to be a danger to the galaxy again, but this man himself has proven acceptable so far. Merely keep your distance from him and watch him. So that he does not betray us. Fear and hate are lures of the dark side. That is true. But also, I know his kind. This man, he may be different, but Mandalorians are vicious of temper and easily provoked. I, I would not want to tempt his wrath. A wise decision. We do not need internal conflict. I am sorry. It is just that I cannot stand to be around him for very long. I suppose I do not really dislike him. It is just... Just what? The Mandalorians came and overran my world. They slaughtered my race. I cannot forget what they have done or forgive. I would not let him harm you, Jaharni. I can take care of myself. I do not need you to patronize me, but it is gratifying to know that you value me as <laughs> that much. This simmering anger and hatred for the Mandalores seems to have found a place in my heart, though. Sometimes I worry. <sighs> but still, you can take over your anger. I worry that I may yet again fall and endanger everything I hold dear, if that time does come. And if I do threaten our task, it is only right that you should strike me down. If I fall and endanger you and the galaxy, you must do what is right. If my death will defeat Malak, then that is what must be done. But we are becoming too morbid, too soon. We should not talk like this now. There is much yet we can do, but we shall talk later, I am sure. Damn! So Juani has a lot going on there, and uh, just wow. All right, so let's talk to the other side of that coin. Let's talk to Candorus. Yeah, what do you want? I was wondering if you had any more war stories, honestly. I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. What was your story, then? I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, 
I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. I didn't think Mandalorians got afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. I'm sorry, wait, you dropped from orbit riding a droid? The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, that, that was some fight then, yes? I'll never forget those times, but things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now, but I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? Uh, no. Can you... Uh, uh, can you tell me anything about your world? It has big trees, in case your eyes don't work anymore. But I do know the Wookiees... Oh, uh, well, he's talking about this world, and I don't care. Anyways, uh, nothing more for now. I'm here if you want something done right. I j did... Okay. All right, let's go find Julie and see if he has anything to say. Because uh, I'm sure he will have something interesting to say, right? But we got to figure out where he's stored. Stored? Where he's located. Uh, where is Julie? Hello? I... There's Candorous. There's HK-47. Is Julie with Mission? No, here's Mission. Hey there, what can I do for you? Hey, uh, I want to talk about your brother. I'm worried about Griff and his latest plan. I got a bad feeling about it. He doesn't know anything about brewing Theresian ale, and now he's got himself mixed up with the exchange. Sometimes Griff can be so stupid. Part of me just wants to let him get what's coming to him. <laughs> You can't turn your back on your own brother. Why not? He turned his back on me. He abandoned me on Terrace, so maybe I should just leave him high and dry now. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Maybe that's just the kind of jolt he needs to turn his life around. Only, what if they do something worse? They might kill him. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. But I just can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. <sighs> No one can teach him this lesson, Mission. He does have to learn it himself. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not going to change him. Griff is going to keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tat glands for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. All right, we obtained some light side points, so that's cool. Uh, we still have no idea where Julie is. Uh, he's not in here. He's not in this room. Is he in this room? Uh, I have no idea where Julie Bindo is on my ship. Ah, found him. He's in the med room. Let's talk to Julie. Got something on your mind, do you? Uh, no, he doesn't have anything to say right now. <laughs> he has absolutely nothing to say right now. All right, so let's see if the war has stopped so I can walk back out on the planet really fast. Uh, we're going to take our wiki friend and Carthanassi. That's who we're going to take right now. All right, I wanted to see if, uh, if the... Um, 
the two people selling things at the at the stop were are actually back if they are good if not that sucks because that means that quest cannot be finished nope that quest cannot be finished crap i was hoping we'd be able to save him uh i guess not well that is bad that is apparently so there there is a there's a data pad or a, a robot helmet you could pick up not a robot helmet but a um a uh, droid helmet protocol droid helmet a head that you could pick up that uh is part of a quest Go do that quest as soon as you pick up the helmet. Yes, it takes more time to walk, but go do that quest. Anyways, uh, we need to make our way. We need to do a couple things before we continue on to either um, either Korriban or Manon, right? No, no, no. We're, we're running short on time now. But uh, there's a couple things. I want to specifically head to Yavin because I want to check that out for next episode. Just straight up, I want to check out Yavin. And we need to go give Griff his tack things and see how this goes. So let's go do the Griff thing first. Traveling back to uh, to Tatooine. I could swore the game crashed and I was going to be so furious <laughs> as we leave uh, the starport here on Kashyyyk. We see uh, Darth Malak standing there with uh, Commander walking up to him. Callow Nord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Callow's, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. Darth Bandon. All right. Darth Bandon. Hello. Really? Did you did you have to destroy part of the part of the uh the the deck? That that was that was wasteful as hell. Just for shits and giggles, that was wasteful. That was that was evil for evil's sake. That was evil for shits and grins. The fuck. Find Bastila and bring her to me alive if possible. As you command, Master. And we're back on Tatooine! That was Dark Bandon speaking to Lord Malak, telling him, As you command, Master. Hey, yeah, that's so... Like, I don't... There is... It's, 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 it's evil for evil's sake. It's evil to be a dick. And that really bothers me. Because there is... There is, there is an acceptable, like... There is there, there, there's multiple levels of evil, of course, but what the hell? Why am I seeing four? I was seeing four. I was seeing quadruple four of everyone. That was hell. That was hell. It was terrifying. It was terrifying. It was terrifying. It was terrifying. All right, we're exiting the Ebon Hawk. We're taking mission with us, and for shit, let's we'll take Basla. Basla, come with us. All right. I think they both ended up leveling up because uh, I have not taken them with me for a while, so we're going to just level them up. <laughs> nice. Sure. Let's talk to Bastila before we leave real quick here. Um, I'm going to say, you wish to talk to me? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. My progress? I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable, but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this, but I will do my best to make you understand. Okay, what are you going to try to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, a temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. Okay. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. How... You seem to know that temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. 
I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? Are you saying the light side is innocent of killing? One who serves the light does not strike down an innocent. We take arms against the dark side and the injustice that follows it only. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. Okay. Whatever is required, such as? I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Okay, cool. Uh, does she have anything else to say? He does not. All right, let's go talk and deal with Griff. As we walk towards the door, a Twi'lek pops up to us. Excuse me, it's been a very long time, dear, but aren't you Bastila, Helena's little girl? Yes, it's you. I can see it in your eyes. Oh my, how you've grown. I'm Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Oh yes, I worked for your father on an expedition years ago. Your mother showed me hollows of you before you, well, before you left. Such a pretty little girl you were. Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Don't be rude, Bastila. Oh, I didn't mean to take up your time. I just want to ask if your mother's condition has improved since the last I saw her. My mother's condition? Oh, you don't know. Oh, dear, I thought, I, I assumed she had found you. When I talked to her last, she was desperate to find you. I've not seen my mother since I joined the Order. Do you know what's happened? Did she, did she say anything about my father? I'm sorry, dear, but your mother is very ear. Ill, so she told me. She didn't say anything about your father, however. I didn't see him. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? She's here on Tatooine, dear, in the cantina. You really should go see her, considering her condition. I guess we should go see your mother, Bastilla. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she's really sick, well, we shall see. Okay. I don't remember this being part of the game. But this is normally I don't come back to planets that I've been to already. So, okay, let's uh, check that out. We're going to go help Griff first. Because, uh, yeah. Have you seen a woman that may resemble me somewhat? She's my mother. This is Mana. That human warrior. I'm, er I'm outraged at her arrogance. You, do all of your species place yourself in such annoying pedestals? I'm sorry, what are you talking about? You should be sorry for sharing a species with that that creature. I swear, Helena must be your word for pit rancor. Um, Helena, Bastilla, isn't that your mother's name? Her mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. Seen her? Human, you couldn't miss her if you tried. She strolled into the cantina like she owned the place. Is she still there? First, probably. I don't think anyone's going to top her attitude. She won't be leaving. I won't be going back a while while she's there. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. You're actually looking for her? You humans, you're all out of your mind. Find out what my mother wanted. We need to find her. Okay, that was Mena Dimnat. We'll be dealing with that problem here shortly. We need to go to the circus, the Zerka office to make sure Griff still has both his legs. Yes, Griff does still have both his legs. Let's talk to him real quick. You're back. I knew you'd come through for me. I knew I could count on you. Uh, you do have a tech land for me, right? I do have a tech land. Here, take it. Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I've turned over a new leaf. 
From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we've cornered the market on Theresian Ale, good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of... Oh, at least 20 times your investment. <sighs> You've already promised me a few thousand credits, Griff. Hey, don't worry. You'll get your credits as soon as we start mass producing that Theresian ale. I just wanted to know if you were interested in an even bigger payoff. <sighs> Here's 200 credits. Wise move. I can see you really understand how business works. Now, when you see your chance, you jump it in, huh? That's my motto. I better get started on brewing that ale. Meet me back here later, and I'll have a down payment on what I owe you. Uh-huh. All right, so I guess we'll end up coming back to Tatooine at some point while we're saving the universe, I guess. Anyways, let's go to the cantina and see what this person is up to, this rowdy person that apparently everyone seems to hate, uh, this Helena. Um, I don't... I'm <laughs> just... It, it blows my mind. Uh, that everyone is complaining about what I assume to be is um, Bastilla's mother. So that's weird. Uh, but you guys won't know too much about it until next episode. Come back next episode. We'll learn more about Helena and everything she's doing at the cantina. If you like this episode and like what you heard so far, please find me somewhere else on the internet and give me a like you can find me on Twitter or, um, you can find me on Mastodon under Kylie Kane under um, the Verzian system under a plur at pl Kylie Kane at the Plural Cafe um, you can also find me all over the internet TikTok YouTube in multiple places I'm all over the place so uh, you, you want to look around go find me it's awesome uh, this game is so good so good I, I'm I'm absolutely enjoying this um, yeah go give your mom a hug I'll catch you next time here at verse at the Versian Chronicles I tried that I failed <laughs> bye y'all <laughs>